Hello world, my name is RJ Brown, Robert Gerard Brown, and I am a photographer, a CEO, founder of RJ Brown Photography. A little over six years ago, I basically got an opportunity for my dad to uh, get my first DSLR camera. And I partnered with a friend of mine who's now living in Atlanta. Um, we started our own photography business. I really didn't know exactly what I wanted to do after I got out of high school. Um, I knew I had a passion for uh, weather and hurricane season came. I grew up in the South. And I just said I want to be an atmospheric scientist. Not knowing that what it all entails. And I, once I got to uh, ULM, because that was the only university in Louisiana that offered that program, I kind of got chickened. Um, I was afraid of taking physics and calculus and these major classes that I wasn't sure of if I was prepared for. So um, I decided to switch my major right even before school started to photography at, at ULM. And um, needless to say, I, I ended up switching my major again a little over a year last year right before my birthday. Uh, I was helping a friend of mine do some film work at uh, one of the clubs in Monroe. And afterwards I went by my frat brother's house and I parked on the side of the road not thinking because you know, I had a, a few people over there so I had a, that's the only option I had. And uh, usually I, I believe I like my doors. But I guess that one night it just didn't happen or something just wrong happened and not only that day but t as time went by like over the course of like 12 hours I did not even know that my camera equipment was stolen from me and that feeling that I felt once I woke up out of my sleep and realized that I did not know where my camera was, my heart dropped to my feet and I, I started to panic. I, I started to trace back in my mind like where exactly I could have placed it or left it at. Because me intentionally not thinking that I would be so irresponsible to leave my doors unlocked knowing I had $5,000 worth of camera equipment in my back seat. And I had to come to terms to that and the following day, I had to wake up. I didn't want to go to church. I didn't want to get out of my bed. I was just in a, in a state of mind of, I'm, I'm nobody now. I had to wake up the next week, and it happened to have been my birthday. And a friend of mine that night had said, you know what? You should try to make up a thing and make donations. So I, I put together this little note on my little uh, button here, kind of similar to this, and it said, Hello, my birthday is today, and I have my camera equipment stolen. Please donate. And hold on. <laughs> so, a friend of mine told me to make that badge, and I took it one step further. And the box that twenty-five hundred dollars worth of camera equipment came in, I I made a mischief uh, donation thing. Uh, pretty much saying, donate to me, and you can sign my box. And in two days, I made six hundred dollars over uh, people that believed in me, believed in who I am or what I'm trying to achieve in life. And I'm, as I look at these signatures now, I I'm taken aback because it's just it shows how much when you know that this is what you should be doing in life, how much support that you really have. The best advice I can give to anyone that's kind of just lost in this world, there's a guy who loves you dearly. And you're here for a purpose. Although that purpose might not be clear now, keep believing. Keep believing because if it's something positive that you want to embark on, do it and don't be afraid because there is support. I'm RJ Brown Photography.